This lesson is about comparing and ordering rational numbers, and it's split into two parts. We're going to compare and order fractions and decimals first. To compare and order fractions and decimals, the first thing we do is write the numbers so they're all in the same form as equivalent decimals or fractions. Write them all as decimals or write them all as fractions. Then we compare or order them by using their value. For equivalent fractions and decimals, equivalent means equal, having the same value. Five-tenths as a decimal is equal to five-tenths as a fraction. We can simplify it. We divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor. We divide by the same number. We do five divided by five, which is one, and ten divided by five, which is two. So it simplifies to one-half. That means the decimal, five-tenths, is equal to one-half. The decimal 25 hundredths is equal to the fraction 25 one hundredths. We can simplify it by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number 25. It's, that's the greatest common factor for both the numerator and denominator, and it simplifies to one fourth. The decimal 75 hundredths is equal to the fraction 75 one hundredths. We can simplify this by dividing the numerator and denominator by their GCF 25, and we get 3 fourths. Remember the place values to the right of the decimal point. The very next place value is the tenths, then the hundredths, then the thousandths. And we can write decimals as fractions in their simplest form by dividing the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, their GCF. If you are confused about this, there'll be a link to video 2.1a when we first learned about greatest common factors. So if we see the decimal 0 0.1, that's equal to 1 tenth. If we see this decimal 0 0.2, that's 2 tenths. We can simplify it by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2, it's equal to 1 fifth. 0 0.3, that's 3 tenths. 0 0.4, that's 4 tenths, which simplifies to 2 fifths. 0 0.5, as we saw, is 1 half. 0 0.6, as a decimal, is equal to 6 tenths, which can be simplified to 3 fifths. 0 0.7, the decimal, is equal to 7 tenths. 0 0.8, the decimal, is equal to 8 tenths. We can simplify it by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2. It's equal to 4 fifths. We have 0 0.9 as a decimal, that's 9 tenths, and 1.0, well that's one whole, that's equal to 10 tenths. We can write a mixed number as a decimal. 1 and 3 tenths is a mixed number. It is equal to the decimal 1.3, 1 and 3 tenths. 4 and 2 fifths. We multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 to make the denominator a 10 for tenths. We get 4 and 4 tenths, which is equal to the decimal 4.4. For 6 and 1 fourth, we can turn this 4 into a 100 if we multiply it by 25, which means we have to multiply the numerator by the same thing. Remember that they have to be multiplied by the same number or divided by the same number. We get 6 and 25 one hundredths, which is equal to the decimal 6.25. We can multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number to make a denominator of 10 for tenths or 100 for hundredths. Remember, writing zeros to the right side of a decimal number won't change its value. This is 6 tenths. If we put a zero in the hundredths place, it's now 60 hundredths. But we could even put another zero and say it's 600 thousandths. Six tenths is simplified to three fifths. 61 hundredths simplifies to three fifths. This means that we can find a decimal between five tenths and six tenths by thinking 50 hundredths and 60 hundredths. All we have to do is 
put a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, and we'll have between 50 hundredths and 60 hundredths. We can see the equivalent fractions and decimals on this number line and in simplest form. We'll look at 2 tenths here. Here it is as a decimal, here it is a, as a fraction, and in its simplest form. 4 tenths as a decimal, as a fraction, and in its simplest form. We have 5 tenths as a decimal, a fraction, and its simplest form. You can see some of them are already in their simplest form. Others need to be put into their simplest form. We can order fractions and decimals by rewriting the fractions as equivalent decimals. We need to order a decimal, a fraction, a fraction, and another decimal from least to greatest. We'll just write them all as decimals. We multiply to give them a denominator of tenths or hundredths. One-fourth can have a denominator of 100 by multiplying it by 25. We multiply the numerator by 25, we get 25 one-hundredths, and we can write it as a decimal, 25 hundredths. For three-fourths, four needs to be multiplied by, one, by 25 to become 100, so we multiply three by 25 and get 75 one-hundredths, and we get the decimal, 75 hundredths. Now, we've got the decimal 0 0.3, which we can add a 0 to on the other side of the 3, on the right side of the 3. We've got a 0 0.25, we've got a 0 0.75, and we can add a 0 to 5 tenths and make it 50 hundredths. Now we can put these in order, now that they're all decimals. 25 hundredths is less than 30 hundredths, which is less than 50 hundredths, which is less than 75 hundredths. Now, to write the answer, we write, need to write them as they were given at first, like this. So, that would be one-fourth, then three-tenths, then five-tenths, then three-fourths. We can order them by rewriting each decimal as an equivalent fraction, least to greatest. Here we have a fraction, a decimal, and a fraction. We can turn this decimal into a fraction. And we can use 12 as their common denominator. 0 0.25 is 25 hundredths. If we simplify it, we'll get 1 fourth. And we can turn this 4 denominator into a 12 denominator by multiplying it by 3. So we multiply the numerator by 3. We get 3 twelfths. We can turn 1 third into a fraction with 12 as a denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 4, we get 4 twelfths. Now we have 5 twelfths, 3 twelfths, and 4 twelfths. We can put them in order. 3 twelfths is less than 4 twelfths, which is less than 5 twelfths. Then, to write the answer, we write them as they were given at first. So, in order from least to greatest, we have 25 hundredths, then one-third, then five-twelfths. Here we need to order from least to greatest two fractions and a decimal. So I'm going to change them all into fractions. First thing I'm going to do is write this decimal as 35 hundredths, and then I'm going to simplify it. I can divide the numerator and denominator by five and get seven twentieths. And now I think, hmm, we can write them as fractions with a con common denominator of 40 because 40 is a common multiple of 20, 10, and 8. 20 times 2 is 40. We multiply the numerator and denominator and get 14 fortieths. 10 times 4 is 40. We multiply the numerator and get 12 fortieths. And 8 times 5 is equal to 40. We multiply both the numerator and denominator and get 5 fortieths. Now we can put them in order that they have the same denominator. 5 fortieths is less than 12 fortieths, which is less than 14 fortieths. We order them least to greatest, written as they were first given. That means we have 1 eighth, then 3 tenths, then 35 hundredths. So now we've completed this lesson. We're going to move to the second part, 
where we compare and order rational numbers. You'll do okay if you completely understand greatest common factors and common multiples. If you're a little rusty with those, go back and look in the links in this description to watch those videos before you move forward. Have a wonderful day. Hit the like button if you understood what was taught, and I'll see you next time. Bye.